If you want to use iMessage in your Mac and that too without using iPhone, then this video is for you. I am going to guide you through each and every process. But before that, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, if you are using MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac or Mac Mini, the process is going to be same on all these devices. Now, first of all, you need to make sure that you have signed in with your Apple ID. Now, you can see I have already done that. Now, after that, uh, all you need to do is you need to open message application, which you can find on dock over here, or else you can press command plus space bar to activate spotlight search and you can search for message application directly. There is one more thing. Uh, you can directly open Launchpad in your Mac and you can also open message application from here. So whichever process is easy for you, you can follow that. Now, once you open message application, you can see it you know, tells us to sign in to iMessage with Apple ID. So either you can use your phone number or email ID to complete the sign in process. So let's do that very quickly. Now I have entered my Apple ID over here. Let's select sign in option. On the next page, it will ask you to enter the password. So enter the password and then select sign in once again. Now, once you complete the sign in process to iMessage, this is how the uh, interface will look like. You can start, you know, messaging if you want to. Now let's select a contact over here so that I can show you how iMessage work in your Mac. Now you can see I have selected a contact. Now let's type something. Now I have written a small message over here and if I press enter, you can see the message will be sent to that particular contact. But instead of sending this normal message, you can do one more thing. You can send message using some text effect. So if I write the same message once again, this time I can, you know, uh, select this uh, icon over here. And in that, if you select message effects, you will get multiple effects over here. So with that particular message, you can send this effect. So this is love effect. This is them. You know, there are also options of balloons. If I select invisible link, then the message will go in this invisible link format. And if that person taps on it, then the message will be revealed. You have confetti option in which you get confetti from above. If uh, you can select slam, you have a laser option. You have loud option over here like this. If you scroll sideways, you have much more options over here. So you can use different effects with your particular message and it's cool to use. So let's say if I want to select this echo uh, effect and if I, uh, you know, after selecting the effect, if I press enter, the message will be sent and this will be the effect whenever that person taps on this particular message. So that's a very cool thing. So you can use different effects from here. You can also use stickers or, or images uh, if you want. You can send some photos in iMessage. So this is a, just the basic process how you can use iMessage in your Mac without using your iPhone. You just need your Apple ID and you are good to go. So I hope this small demo was helpful for you. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do like this video as well. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.